So I opened up my TD Ameritrade account today and I was just blown away with what I saw because it it was unbelievable. I saw a notification from them saying, we are no longer charging you a commission fee for stocks, for ETFs, for options. It's all free, $0. And I thought to myself, yes. But then I thought, why? Why would you do this? There's no reason for it. Or has Robinhood become such a huge threat to TD Ameritrade? And I thought that could be a possibility, but then I thought, there's got to be something going on. So I looked into it. And that's what I'm going to share with you today is why they're doing it and how it can affect things. Anyways, if you find value in this video, please smash that like button, leave a comment down below. And if you like investing strategies and wealth building strategies and just stock market stuff in general, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this. So first, let's just look at the fine print. So for example, exchange listed US stocks, uh, domestic and Canadian contract fees now only 65 cents. All right, so options trading still has a 65 cent fee for the contract. And, um, you know, with ETFs, they have to be local or Canadian ETFs. And then, you know, you have to find stocks that are on part of the US stock exchange. So looking into the fine print of that, a 6.95 commission applies to online trades of over-the-counter OTC stocks, stocks not listed on a U.S. exchange. That's, you know, things like the New York Stock Exchange. They have to be in those particular sectors in order for you to receive the free trade. If it's not part of it, if it's not a listed stock, you will have to pay the $6.95 still. So that's why you always want to look at the fine print because you don't want to be charged for something that you were unaware of. You know, the last thing you want is to think you're getting something for free and then find out you're, you're not. All right, now let's go ahead and look into why they're changing their fees. Is it because of Robinhood or is it because of something else? Let's take a look at what I found. So the first thing I did was I said, let's check out the ticker symbol for TD Ameritrade and find out what's going on. And then I found it. Avoid TD Ameritrade as it crashes through critical support. And I'm like, what are they doing? Going out of business? Charles Schwab, E-Trade, Financial, and TD Ameritrade fall after downgrade. Oh my gosh, what's going on? E-Trade, Ameritrade, Interactive Broker slammed as Schwab drops trading commissions. Well, there you have it. I just found what I was looking for. Schwab's move to end trading commissions could slash TD Ameritrade and E-Trade earnings. And then at the bottom it says, the best just got better TD Ameritrade introduces zero commissions for online tr stock, ETF, and options trading. So already based off of the titles of these articles, I'm getting the feeling it's not so much Robin Hood that is causing everybody to drop their commissions, but it's actually Schwab over here uh, and everybody's just following suit, all right? Um, now, let's look at some of these articles to understand why they're doing it and what effect that is having on these companies and you know what, what effect it might have on you. So the first thing I noted was Schwab said the decision to remove the final pricing barrier at to investing online came from his book from day one my passion has been to make investing easier and more affordable for everyone so right there it's pretty much him saying look i think investing should be for everyone there should no, be no fee involved and it should be easy and that's kind of noble of him i guess uh it's it's nice not having to pay a fee i can tell you that but at the same time you know, the main reason behind this is for them to get more uh, customers thinking from a business perspective. That's what I would do, especially with Robin Hood coming into the mix with their free trades and stuff. You would want to drop your price so that they do not grow exponentially and surpass all of these other big brokerage firms. Now, down here at the bottom, the new service comes with no minimum account size. The trading of options will continue to be subject to a fee of 65 cents per contract. Basically, setting the limitations and the standards for all the brokerage firms to follow. Now, how is this affecting the brokerage firms? So, TD Ameritrade has dropped 26% 
this week and E-Trade has dropped 16. Whereas Brokers Group and Charles Schwab have only dropped around 9% each. Now, why is this? Why is it that Schwab is only dropping so little while everybody else is dropping so much? Now that goes into their earnings and how much they make from transaction fees. Anticipated impact from these actions is just around three to four percent for Charles Schwab. All right, that's around 360, 400 million dollars taken from their annual earnings, which three to four percent is not that big of a deal, even though these seem like huge numbers. It's not that big of a deal when you are attracting more customers to come to your firm, unlike everyone else. And how is this impacting TD Ameritrade and E-Trade? Well, 22% of their annual earnings around there come from transaction fees. And that's why they're decreasing so much and having a hard time with this. But at the same time, you know, you got to keep up with the competition because if not, you're just going to be burnt out and you're not going to keep up at all. So you either go with the flow or you get burnt out and you're done. All right. So what does this mean for you? To be honest, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, if every firm is going down to zero, it doesn't matter which firm you're with. I prefer to go with one that you feel is more comfortable for you. I prefer TD Ameritrade. I like their educational material. I like their tools that you can work with to find companies to invest in and how it helps you find everything you need. But that's my personal preference. And as I said, it's more important of what you're comfortable with. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below if you have a question or two. Maybe I didn't answer something that you may have had a specific question about. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.